So I've got a little bit of a side project for the holiday after, of course, building the Sport Tracks device. Uh, this is a new development. Uh, so this is the Sport Tracks that we built, uh, which of course the final development, which I'm many people have seen, was the serial connection, which is just this little port right here, which we've got a little FTDI chip, which fits on here to act as a controller. Uh, for the Mac, and of course it's also replaceable with Pi Zero, which will be another modification over the next few months. But the main reason I wanted to do this video um, was for the next project, which is a little uh, lighting, uh, mood lighting in my room. And for that I'm going to be putting on bookshelves and show sort of a flood effect uh, across the ceiling. Um, and through that I'm going to use the Adafruit Near Pixels, um, but this is actually going to be controlled and powered through a Feather Bluefruit 32U4. Attached to it, we've actually got a little uh, Bluetooth chip here. Um, the great thing about this chip here is it'll actually allow us to use a custom UART script on an iOS or Android device to control the output from this, uh, these NeoPixels just here. Uh, these NeoPixels, so what they do is it's little, they call them the wings, and we can then solder these on, choose the data pin, well, the right thing on that, particularly this wall, actually, it's got data in and a data out as well. If you wanted to extend this on with further near pixels, uh, which you might find in here, don't really have though. But uh, essentially, the idea is, is that we you have the reset button, and that will then reset this sort of a light just here. And we'll see it sort of flashing because that's the we, we can now flash the card with a with our program that we've written. It'll just run like a little a brief script there. So a little demo here. Basically what we can see is that um, we've got a little control pad here and we can actually alter using an iOS or Android device uh, the essentially the colours or indeed the animation that we are actually running on the device itself. Um, obviously it's a little bit more extravagant on a phone but we can actually alter the RGB as well wanted to, so I don't know if we bring up the green channel want to make our own custom colour, we can do that as well if we go to the control pad however we've actually got different uh, different animations, so you can see you sort of get an idea so if I actually alter this a little bit, we can actually adjust the brightness, we should be able to see again, you can sort of get an idea there um, but of course we can, that's one given colour, we can actually once again alter that colour that we decide to use in any manner we wish. I'll put this on the bookshelf and then see you in a little bit of video. That's a little bit of a side project uh, away from the room.